and welcome back guys to good old part 10 of Let's Play Chrono Trigger in the last part. We escaped the castle finally, defeated the dragon tank, and uh, have wound up what looks like to be the future. And uh, yeah, we now are making our way to a different dome in search of, I guess, food. Which is very important. And I totally forgot about this treasure chest, so I was going to get it. That is a berserker, I believe that is a... And I just totally did not mean to do that. I believe... Yes, that is a thing. See, it auto-attack and it raises your defense and your hit rate. However, um, you lose the opportunity of pretty much um, control over a character. It's good at least in this area. But uh, if you want to use any of your techs and stuff, it's probably not a good idea to give other than Chrono. But yes, I'm going to employ the speed up battle uh, now. I don't know how that's going to work. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if things take too long, then I'm going to start uh, implementing battle speed up or just battle cut out entirely. I'm not too sure. I kind of like just keeping the combat in, you know? I mean, yeah. It, it is one of those things where we have to extend the game's length for quite a long time just because I'm keeping the combat in. But at the same time, you know, unless things get really, 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 really repetitive. Like I said, I'm probably going to spend some time uh, leveling up my characters. Uh, just because it will make it quite... Ooh, I got an ether and Marley leveled up. Awesome. I'm going to spend some time... Uh, and really? Another load sword? weird. Why would it give me another one? I guess just in case you didn't buy it or didn't get it in the last one. And if you run into these mice, they will steal a tonic. I don't know what, or what that pretty much just happened. Oh, a load bow. That's what I was thinking. I was like, I thought there was something different here. And that is good for Marley. And that raises her attack by 10. Holy cow. You do. Do I have to face these? Yes, I do. And those things just came out of... Yeah, whatever. Alright, tech. There we go. Perfect. This, of course, puts into question how distance all works. But, uh, I digress. God, I've been watching way too much Clement lately. I'm doing it again. <laughs> and those criticals were definitely not necessary, game. I, I really wish you hadn't done that, because the critical would have been nice against that plant right up there. Thinking of, sure, you can do that too. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I may not speed up combat. I think I may just keep it in. Because that, that's the whole thing about this, is you only fight each combat once, and if you come back into the area, then you fight more. And let's see, ooh, there we go, that's a foursome right there. That's good stuff. Take those craters out. It's a good use of MP, I do say so myself. And that, oh, it has. I guess they have 80 HP. I guess that's how that works. <laughs> you could use your sight scope or whatever the equipment for Luca, but it's really not necessary. I think it's called sight scope. Now, now I'm curious. Yes, sight scope. I am correct. But we need to make our way through Lab 16, and this is what uh, they were talking about as how swords do not work against uh, these guys. You have to use techs, which kind of makes Marley useless, I think about it. But uh, they have really, really low. Um, Really, really low HP. So it's not that bad. So, a quick fire whirl will definitely always save the day. Grab this. Do I want to face that enemy? Oh, you would do this. I can't remember if. Sl I think Slash. Come on, stop. Slash is considered. Um, yes, it is considered a magic. And that should kill both of those. There we go, perfect. 
So slash is considered, I guess, lightning element or wind element. I'm not too sure. So it, it's it considers itself magic. Ooh. I wish Chrono was set up better. There, got it. I got all three of them. Nice. Perfect. Everything is working out in my favor. <laughs> this is why I love this game. There's so much like setup in combat that you can actually strategize with a very simplistic uh, combat system. But we're going to face this thing because we feel like it. But as I was saying in the last part, before I was rudely interrupted by a time limit, um, it's nice to have sort of a, a laid-back LP while I, uh, while I have a hectic run of speeding through uh, Super Mario 64. Which is actually quite nice. It always seems weird because it seems like he uses the move Mutant to suck, like, energy out of me. But these things are pretty powerful. Like, nothing to be scared of or anything like that, but... A little critical hit from Chrono will always finish the job. And Marley leveled up again. She's pretty much catching up to Luca and Chrono at this point. Aww, oh, come on. You could have just let me through. Heck. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna show off, um... What should we call it? Aura Whirl. Now that we got all that set up, and I should probably use Flame Toss. But yeah, so pretty much what it is, it's, a, it's an all healing spell. I know. Incredibly shiny, I know. You want me to show you more, don't you? Don't really need to show Aura right now, though. I could definitely use one of those uh, Elecrons, or whatever that thing was called. It, I may still be hungry, but at least I'm fully restored and uh, HP and MP. But yeah. I don't know, this, like, the whole RPG thing is, I know it's a very long experience, and it's it's gonna be definitely a grueling LP, but at the same time, uh, I, I'm looking forward to it. I've always loved this game. It's probably the most loved and the best, at least Super Nintendo RPG, if not the best RPG of all time. But, nevertheless, we have finally made it through Lab 16, and we are making it to the Aris Dome. Food, here we come! Yummy, I can't wait for the food. Come on, Chrono, let's get that food. What do you have to say? Who are you? Oh, okay, that's not very nice. You there, where'd you come from? I came from the laboratories to the west. What? Hey, we've got people across the ruins. Say again? You're joking. So there are people who can beat out those freaky mutants. Yes, because we're strong and healthy. Hello? Pardon me, I'm Doan. I'm the center of the director of this info center. In the basement, there's a huge computer and a storage center for food. But we can't get through because the robot guards. It's a pity. Oh, that's terrible. My husband went down from the food storage area below. I haven't seen him since. Oh, that's not nice. Daddy's going to bring us some food. Whoop. I don't think so. What do you have to say? Uh, did you really come from the dome for the last? Yes, I did. I see. Not that I really care. What if I said no? <laughs> That's one of those things you'll never know. The door with the crest? Dynamo won't budget. Well, it's it's good that you guys tried it, because that's kind of weird. There's an old man living in a dome near Death Peak. Talk about crackpots. Hmm, interesting. We may have to go visit that crackpot later. But first and foremost, let us restore our beautiful HP. But we're still hungry. <laughs> Even though I don't think these characters ever show that they eat or need to eat or anything like that. We reach the continent south through the sewer access. But stay off of Death Peak. Hmm. That's no good. Well, uh, I guess we're gonna go down here. Are you going down below? Of course! But no one's ever returned from there. Gotta try, right? Hmm. It's nice to see such spirited young people for a change. Careful now, and come back alive. 
Sure, why not? Even if I know the code, it won't work. What else are we going to get through here? Oh, this music's so eerie. Looks like a statue. A memo is attached to it. Warning, anyone within the vicinity of the stock room will be attacked. Oh, that's no good. Yeah, let's go there. <laughs> I mean, we read the information about the dragon tank and we still went that way, so... I don't see what's wrong with going this way. Oh, shit! <laughs> Executing program. Bruno, what's going on? Marley, let's go! Alright. So, uh, yeah! Boss time again! This is great! Well, we have to attack these bits first. You don't want to attack the center. You want to kill the bits first. If you do anything but, you will uh, cause uh, some serious damage. And I just did that by accident. Yeah, they joined for an attack. And they hurt us all. Great. And that does a lot of damage. So, um, yeah. Let's not do that again, shall we? Actually, I'm going to use uh, Aura Whirl just because. Come on, get your attack. Yeah, there we go. I think I can use Flame Toss against these. I don't think they're immune to, uh, immune to the actual tech damage. Probably do more damage in the long run anyway. I'm not sure if you have to take out both bits. I, I'm not too sure if it's, it's necessary. I'm, I'm actually kind of interested to see what happens when I attack it. But yes, it am, it's an Amplify counterattack. It's a single attack, but it hurts uh, one person. So you definitely want to take out both bits. That hurts. You can stop that now, sir. To do attack. I should use flame toss. I'm gonna aura. Do 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 do. I wonder if I can beat this boss. Actually, I should not be using uh, regular attacks. I should be using. Uh, I should go all out on this, pretty much. And you know what? I'm going to use aura on. Oh right! It is immune to fire. I just realized that. <laughs> oh my god. It's been a long time since I played this game. So it's going to be reviving its bits. And we really don't want it doing that. Attack. Fire's not going to do anything. So it's pretty much just Chrono. I think he can he can use his tags. Like I think Slash. Slash is good. Actually, Cyclone is still better at this point. Jeez, it looks like it almost does more damage with his... Uh, Alright, zero. He's gonna revive his bits. Can I get another attack in? Yes, I can. I think you can get an attack in uh, before his bits are revived. He shouldn't counterattack. Oh, they do counterattack. Never mind. I am a terrible, terrible RPGer. It has been a long time since I've played this. Holy cow. And I'm going to use. No, why did I just do that? Thank god I have Aura Royal. <laughs> oh my god. Terrible! Thank god I just had Aura World set up. Because this could have been terrible. I'm definitely going to have to use another time to heal, though. I think I'm just going to use uh, physical attacks from now on. That sounds like a better plan. Save, uh... Back, Aura, on Luca. She's the most hurt. This boss is very long, and I remember this boss giving me a lot of trouble back when I had first started. But it's like I said, it's really nothing that uh, you can't handle. I think each bit has like about 200 HP or something like that. Something along those lines. It looks like I may have to cut this part short. Yes, Amplify Fire. Do your dirty work. Or maybe they have more than uh, just that. Well, nevertheless, I think uh, we will pause right here, and I will see you guys in part 11. Take care, stay frosty, and see you next time.